Hello and good morning. Welcome to your daily readings with Hem from the Self Love Self Care System for Tuesday the 25th of June. I'm going to be doing our daily readings today from the original Rider Waite deck conceived of by A.E. White and designed by Pamela Coleman Smith. So without further ado, let's get our cards. I hope everyone's good. I'm feeling that the energy is getting better because yesterday we had the Sun card. If you don't know what I'm talking about, do check yesterday's video and reading so that you understand what's going on in this week. So we're going to get an energy of the day card which is like being thrown at me and a problem if there is one and a solution card. Ooh. I'm not sure about that solution card. I saw it. Oh, I was like, weird. But I think I know what it means. Okay, lovelies, let's have a look what we've got. So the energy of the day card is the... I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is... Because it's a sword, right? So there's some kind of conflict. But what it actually is saying is that you're moving away from that conflict. You're moving out and away from whatever it was that was conflicting you, making you feel as if you couldn't have... Look, how I see this, how the angels are showing me is, it's like you were locked in a cage and someone's come along and unlocked the door and opened it and you're still sitting there going, well, yeah, but I don't trust what's out there. And the angels are saying, no, it's time now. And they're literally showing me you putting on your cloak, picking up your little bag, and you're leaving that that energy. That's kind of the leaving here. You're leaving the old energy behind. You recognise now that it was ridiculous. Why were you dealing with things like that? And also you're understanding that maybe, maybe you were looking at everything a little bit of a squiffy way. I am very sure in this where I see what the angels are showing me. They're saying to me, it's as if you misconstrued your own power, your own capabilities, your own ability to reflect, remove, and recycle old things. Yeah, because they're showing me as rubbish. They're literally showing me a dustbin, like a refuse cart for those of you in the States, a dustbin cart, literally like taking it all away and hurtling off down into the horizon. And you going, oh, is that it? That is actually it. Okay, I want you to remember that. That is it. It's done. It's done. And you know, you may have lost something or something may have changed or there may be difference in your life. How you need to embrace that newness and say, I'm ready for this newness. I'm ready to go with this. I'm ready to remove shackles. Old conditioning. They're telling me it's very family driven here. It's like... Whatever this was, situation, experience, condition, whatever it was, it wasn't actually you. It was something within the line of your ancestry and of your married or husband or wife's ancestry, okay, that cottoned into your energy frequency and vibration and it affected you. Yet now you're in a space where the vibrational frequency has been dimmed, minimized, subtly softened, and it's not there anymore. So it's, there's no need to think about it anymore. And I think we got that there with this. So your problem is not a problem. We've got three, we've got nine, nine of pentacles. Breathe a sigh of relief. Everything is coming together. It's your, your, your fortifications are fortified. Your resilience is high. Your boundaries are strong. You're capable and you're able to move forward now. Now, although these are the pentacles, and yes, the angels are literally talking about money because they're showing me money just tumbling down a hill here. We probably at the top can't get it. <laughs> no, it's not like that. There's people down here collecting it. And what they're saying to me is that you just need to remember the offerings that are available for you. You just need to check into that. Now, they are saying to me, do be aware of your old thinking patterns. There's patterning that's here. It's time now to create an ending so that you can have a beginning. Let go of what was. And, and that, I'm going to be really honest with you, that's the problem with anything. The problem is really about for those of you who are really resonating in with this, it's about you, with the problem that is, 
Well, even though that isn't a problem, okay? But what I was going to say is it's a, it would be a resistance because I don't see a problem here. I see goodness and I see opportunity and a new, new, newness, new start. You're letting go of what no longer works. You're letting go of that conflictual energy. You're stepping into a warmer space. Now, this is a card I already saw, so I knew what was coming. You've got the death card in what would be normally the additional bonus card because that's not really a problem. However, I do recognise this. You're looking towards what is here and you're saying, I need to end. This is not dying. People think this is dying. Yes, it's dying to the old rubbish that you no longer need. And it's saying it's time you let go of the things that are not working for you. Be it relationships, be it jobs, be it situations, be it thoughts. And I'm really getting thoughts here, emotions intentions, limitations, belief systems. What are those belief systems that are so clunky that they're stopping you from having the life that you deserve? You deserve more than this. And this death card says, end it now, chop it off at the knees, done with it, stop that. This can't happen, this one, whatever was here that you're walking away from, it can't happen anymore, it's not okay. If you need to say some words, do say them. However, if you didn't watch yesterday's reading, watch yesterday's reading because it gives you a better better practice to release this anything else about death card angels anything else that needs to come so they're saying feel and understand that in new beginnings comes new understanding you have to let the old you go you have to let the old dreams go even you have to let the old desires go they're asking you to create a clean slate a new beginning a new start and reflect from here on into the next space because something is being brought to you and built for you right now. I can see that in the distance. And what the angels are saying to me is that you need to do this. You need to stop the old rubbish. It's rubbish. I'm telling you, it's rubbish. Um, and they're also giving me something else to give to you. If you still feel that there is problems, go to prayer, go to, to whatever you believe in, okay? But go to talking, or even if you're talking to your inner self, and say, I'm done with this, this needs to clear now, I'm ready. Now, I want you to remember, if you are doing this, and you are clearing it, and you are releasing it, you do have to let it go. But you see, what happens, what often happens is, many of us, we think we're releasing something, when we're actually resistant to releasing it, and we're holding on to it, and then we go, oh, but I've done all this, and it's not worked. Well, it's not worked, because you're holding on to it, and you're saying that you still need it. The universe can only work as much with as much permission as you give it. If you don't give it the permission to release it and the angels, your guardians, your spirits, then they can only do so much. So you need to give them the permission to work with it and help you with it, to clean it up and clear it, whatever it is, okay? Because if you are in resistance to it, it doesn't matter because the closure won't occur. I hope that makes sense, my lovelies. That is your reading for today, for Tuesday, the 25th of June. I send you all so much love. If you did get this far, please do give me a thumbs up. It really, really makes me happy, regardless of what it's doing on YouTube. <laughs> do subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you on board. And do check out the videos above if you haven't done already. You'll have yesterday's reading and whatever else I've got somewhere around. Namaste, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Have a lovely Tuesday. And I will see you tomorrow for Wednesday's reading. Mwah! Lots of love. Bye. 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 Okay. It's not stopping because I switched that off in there. <laughs>